Los Angeles and Vancouver are sister cities. We're sisters. Have been for 25, 25 years. years. Yeah. That's right. You told me that last year, I yeah. think. And the Get to Know Hike for Health, first time in this city. Correct. Yeah. Gettoknow.ca if you want to check okay. it out online. Pacific Spirit Park today. Yes. Uh, yeah. 1030. Yeah, a bunch of be school Be there, kids. be square. Do you yeah. have to be young? No, young, old, anyone. Come Everybody. out, join us. Mm. And come celebrate nature, right? We'll sure. be a guided hike. How great. Mm -hmm. And you don't have to bring a walking stick, but they do in Europe. And I was, when you mentioned you'd been to Europe it, it, and the Europeans inspired you because they are great walkers. Oh, yeah, I just. Uh, I thought if you as a city councilor took a walking stick in Los Angeles, oh. you may get taunted. Oh, that's true. So I don't do that. I just take a hand and I shake people's hands. <laughs> you say, <laughs> okay, and I know you clean Welcome up the garbage LA. in LA. Well, I we remember do that. We He's do a hands on counselor. That's right. He's Good. driving down the street, he sees garbage, stops, yeah. picks it up, oh, puts yeah. it in the can. Good ownership. Own your city, yeah. right? Make people yeah. believe. Own your backyard. You know, but Vancouver's a great city, and Los Angeles is a great city, and this is a, a great program, the national program in Canada, Get to Know. We thank Shaw sure. for all your support here. Fanny, thank you for always having us. Yeah, and having a great Olympian you. here is special. I mean, I too. didn't have a choice about having you. The, just because we're supporting you, I had to put you on no, the that's television. Okay. Well, you got to make it. For gotta, heaven's you're, sakes. You're very good. You know how it works. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Why did you both sign on uh, to get to know? Uh, Robert Bateman is a friend of mine, and I admire his work tremendously. One of our artwork. great wildlife artists, one of the, the great artists in the world. Get to know us in Southern California, working with Southern California Edison or Edison International. Uh, at our Los Angeles Zoo. I represent the zoo area. It was a Saturday mm -hmm. morning. I saw Canadians. They were from Vancouver. I remember coming to Vancouver in 1971 when mm -hmm. I was 17, driving up here in a 59 Rambler with a buddy of mine, Mark Corman. <laughs> so I've always loved Vancouver. <laughs> and I've been back here with my family mm -hmm. several times and enjoyed it. Meeting the people from Canada in this partnership, it just happened. And it happened immediately. So this partnership now, as president of the Sister Cities right. of Los Angeles, we're going from Vancouver to Los Angeles, then we hope to go to our 25 sister cities worldwide from Berlin to Guangzhou, from Auckland to uh, Lusaka throughout to get to, How you know, lovely. get to know. It's all going to try to go around the mm -hmm. world because it's a very simple message. Get to know nature right. and then hike for health. What else mm -hmm. is there better? We yeah, can remember that. Right. Did Shania Twain get a star on the Hall she of Fame? She did. She was very oh, good. She said see? to say hello, Fanny. I well, got to, good. I, I presented it uh, along with the Hollywood Chamber of Commerce. Mm -hmm. and yeah. Bo Derek was there looking as fine as ever. My, I nice. interviewed Bo Derek many yeah. moons ago. She still looks fabulous. Fabulous. Mm -hmm. And she was very nice. And yeah, she earned, signed all her autographs star. there. But there was no security. So guess, it was before guess, you were born. She was 10. Worked, yes, she was 10 plus. Yes, who worked security, Fanny? I worked security. Did you? Bo was all alone there with mm -hmm. Shania, great. and she said, Tom, help me. And I went and worked the line sure. and helped her get through, and all her fans loved it. So well, as you know, fun. Shania grew up in wilderness. And, uh, yeah, you know, in Timmins, Northern Ontario. In Timmins, Ontario, that's uh, a lot of wilderness and a lot of nature, right. and that's it does inspire us, and I think on a dark day. Tell me yeah. when you uh, uh, lost in Athens. Oh, and Athens was was sad. And in fact, nature had the, well, nature was an integral part of my sport rowing because I'd mm. spend you know eight hours a day outside training for it. But nature has this this grounding effect, this 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 deeper mm. power, and it became a tradition for me after large sporting events. And now that I'm I'm after sport, I'm a, you know I'm a professional speaker and a, and a workshop presenter. And whenever I'm in stressful environments, I, I gravitate towards water. After every race, whether I'd won or lose, I'd sit by the water by myself when it was calm, and I'd be able to reset. I'd be mm -hmm. able to digest what happened in the day. I'd be able to, to feel the, the deep emotions of the moment. Sure. And I still do that. Whenever I'm feeling troubled, I, I find myself gravitating towards water. I look for a calm piece of water because I find the calm water calms my spirit. And there's this effect between the human spirit and the grand cathedral of nature. Absolutely. I uh, did uh, two years of uh, forestry shows, so I spent a okay. lot of time in the virgin forest and with loggers, and these are tough guys right. okay. that can take a cedar tree or a Sitka spruce down. Oh. And they will tell you about spirit in the woods and elementals and uh, the feeling and the reverence for nature. And for a kid who's raised in a concrete jungle, never to experience it, never to pat a horse, never to pat right. a donkey. It's, an, uh, it's incredible when we you have these pick programs. Up a chicken. Right. <laughs> Whatever you have to do on the farm. Well, you have the, these programs where you take kids from the, the inner city and you bring them out into nature. Mm -hmm. you, you see the transformation in the eyes of these children. They, they, sure. they get it instantly. Mm -hmm. Well, I know they're doing it in some of the prison programs. Mm -hmm. Well, they take you out to survival right. camp. And uh, instead of sending kids to jail, they'll put them into basically survival camp and say, here's some matches, here's a tent. Not that they're not watched and learn how to survive. Right. And, and take a slice out of nature. Mm -hmm. 
You know, commit with an animal. Reality is too. Sometimes uh, some of those young people would be more afraid to be in nature, no which is calming, than if they were on a street corner yeah. in a tough part of my city. Exactly. Very much so. Yeah. Very much so. And the police last night, you know, I, no matter what our cops do, we, they don't seem to get any respect. And there were people that, uh, in our group who were saying, they should just tear gas and take those guys out. And in a way, then, then the bystanders who really were trying to get out would have been hurt. So yeah. it's a tough call in Very a city. Very tough call. It it's is. an immediate call. And, and unfortunately, it's a few numbers. I mm -hmm. bet you if we removed two, 200 of the, uh, of the hooligans, mm -hmm. it would yeah, not have not happened. Even. No, and no. as you uh, were you uh, there during Watts? Well, Watts, I was a little child. I'm sure. But but but, but even in, in the Rodney King situation, it yeah. was a bill, but it was about a, a cause. Mm -hmm. It was political and other social issues. Never should have happened at a sporting event. But, but like even political issues, you can't really excuse violence, right? No. If you go no. look at like, like someone like Gandhi, right? Who's right. had the prime sure. example of non nonviolent protest so. it's more powerful it's far more powerful absolutely no and one will value destruction no yeah. but we have been accused of not being a fun city mm. then we had the, the this last winter olympics here and people said you know vancouver's hot we've right. grown up we can be a fun city we can bring people downtown communicate get into the spirit of things and then last night right but you know, sometimes I hope you get they a black eye and it heals. No, it won't. It, well, won't, it okay. will heal. It will I, remember, heal. I remember after we won the gold medal game, right, mm -hmm. and the crowd was self-regulating. I remember walking down the street at Granville shoulder to shoulder, and guys started to get rowdy. They're mm -hmm. rocking the, the sure. mailbox back and forth, and guys were like, calm down, calm down, calm down, and everyone would calm down. And it's, I think it's, it's part of our own responsibility sure. as citizens here. When you see someone getting rowdy, when you see someone getting stupid, you, we have to, to a certain extent, put, sure. put our calming energy Absolutely. back Absolutely, the and is there some great fun had yeah. that's not exactly proper. Right. I know yeah. when uh, a friend of mine was an Olympic bobsledder and the boys took the bobsled into the bar in Switzerland. <laughs> not allowed. Right. You know, the coach wasn't all that pleased about yeah. that. It was kind of a boy thing, yeah. I guess. Well, I get but it. <laughs> I get it. Uh, where has uh, that boat been? Yeah, <laughs> where's the boat? Oh, we haven't been able I don't have any good stories about bringing the boat anywhere. <laughs> no, but now that I've given you the idea, <laughs> right? Watch oh my gosh, we'll have to watch you. But it's, it's, uh, there's good fun and clean fun. And yes, there's antics and then there's the other. So right. there you go. So if you hike for health and you get out yeah. in nature and park your car like 10 blocks away from where you're going even. Right. Exactly. Yeah. Right? It's yeah, good for get, your health. It's yeah. good for your health. You move your body. But yeah, this city's greening up. L.A. greening up. L.A.'s greening up. We've got to green up more. But just mm -hmm. get out and hike for health. Walk your block. Get around yeah. your neighborhood. Say hello to your neighbors. And if you see a piece of trash, pick it up and find it and clean up your right. city because any trash in the street Goes yeah. in the drain. Yeah. Yeah. Own your, yeah. your, your backyard. Own your backyard. Own your backyard. You said the right word, Fanny. Reverence. We have to have reverence mm -hmm. for our land. Sure. Those who came before us, those who will come in the future. Mm -hmm. exactly. Stewards of the land, and right. that's another European concept. And I don't mean all Europeans are perfect, but no. they do have a steward land, steward right. of the land thing, and they don't like own it. If you want to have a picnic in Switzerland, you can go on someone's lawn. Right. And they don't yell at you and say, my property. Right. Yeah. You know, they say, no, no, we're all sharing the Alps. Right. I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> Somehow. Yeah. Mm -hmm. No, it, it's good, right? And it's, okay. We need to get to know our nature, right? You know, that's get it. To know get to know. I, I think that's, that's true, and then we'll worry about public safety another day. Right. Yeah. Right. Public safety is being in your neighborhood. There's less crime sure. in neighborhoods where there are people out walking. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You know. Well, that's why I think they, sh they should bring the front porch back, and they have in some neighborhoods. Right. The front so, porch so program. Granny sits on the front porch, and the mm -hmm. kids sit on the front porch across the street, and they wave and they talk and they right. chat. Right. That sense of community. We're we're putting it here in Vancouver. We've got a lot of glass yeah. towers, right. but we have a lot of areas where you can congregate and play and experience green space and public art. Right. Oh, it's it's important, mm -hmm. right? I was just in London, England uh, last year, and I remember walking through some of the neighborhoods, and everyone was sitting on their porches, and everyone's out having barbecues on the street, talking yeah. to one another, and it's 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 powerful to have sure. that community, and it's safer. Well, maybe, maybe you can take the council for a bit of a row. Yeah, well, maybe. yeah I'm going to take a bike ride around. Okay, a bike ride, yeah, let's do okay, it. Okay, a bike ride, a row, and all of that oh, after you beautiful. hike. Well, you can row, and I'll probably bike as okay, fast yeah, as we'll you row. <laughs> okay, yeah, we'll Olympian. bike and row. We'll figure it out. <laughs> yeah. How hey, nice to see Fanny, you again. You're yes. great. This is a commendation hey. for the city of Los Angeles. You're an ambassador. Why, all thank the good you. work you do, we want to thank you on oh, behalf of the Los Angeles, Vancouver, Sister City. Vancouver, Sister City. You know, I love the City of Angels. Thank you. I spent a lot of time there as a kid. Good. And people think of Los Angeles as being like kind of all concrete and whatever. No, hot city. Right. Will you tell yeah. anybody who's watching, just uh, come to City Hall, 
Tell him Fanny sent you, so you get credit. Come yeah. see me. Okay. I'll make it nice for him. Let's do that. Okay. Okay, Adam and I will be there. <laughs> yes, for sure. Nice to see Thank you. Thank you for the support, Fanny. Thank we you. Appreciate it. Very much. And that is today. Uh, sister cities get to know Hike for Health.